All right, Pisces dealing with Capricorn. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Capricorn. This is going to be for April 21st through the end of the month. So till May 1st, let's see what messages we have for Pisces dealing with the Capricorn placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you're a Pisces Sun dealing with a Capricorn North Node, this reading may resonate with you. If you are a Pisces Venus dealing with the Capricorn Sun, this reading may resonate with you. Second card will be for Capricorn. Keep in mind energy is fluid. Energy can go both ways. So take what side fits or resonates with you. This is just extra clarification for your situation. If you're dealing with the Capricorn placement, check your other placements as well for additional information. All these uh, Pisces dealing with whatever sign should be all uploaded by the end of today. Um, so let's see, we got Pisces, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, so whoever this Capricorn placement is, this person may have you on their mind. This is a message for you. All right. Um, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. Capricorn, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows. Okay. So, um, Sometimes giving each other space can draw in the closeness between the two of you, can make you feel closer to one another. Everybody needs their own space at times. You smother something, then, you know, uh, you'll lose it that way. So give, t uh, for both of you guys, give thanks. Give thanks for all the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve and to be loved and to have all that your heart truly desires. Okay, so... Give thanks, show gratitude for all the blessings soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and to have love and everything that your heart truly desires. All right, so Pisces, let's see. We're going to be pulling four cards from the Hidden Truth Oracles. Let's see. Keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you depending on your situation. Take what fits, leave the rest. I'll be pulling some cards from the Andromeda Skies Oracle. And then we'll jump into your tarot reading and close out with a few oracles at the end. So this is kind of an extensive reading of you and your person. Um, yeah, and be sure to hit that like button if you find that these messages resonate for you. I will be redoing the top six signs next week. So um, if you guys want to see a new message, whether it resonates today or not, um, be sure to hit that like button so that um, you guys can get a bonus next week. So we've got, I wish I could share my good news with you. I wish I had treated you better. So this could be something you're saying to this person or you want to say to this person. This is the hidden truth. Um, someone here in the situation does wish that they treated the other one better. Um, I'm starting to understand our connection. And you speak to me through music. So you may hear a song that comes on the radio. It may make you think of this person or vice versa. Wow, and I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson, and I'm starting to understand our connection. There was another sign that got those two cards, too. I don't remember which one. Um, might have been Sag, but anyway, some of you have those placements, or check your other signs. Um, but there is a spiritual lesson here at hand. Um, I feel like everything we do every day, you know, creates some type of a lesson. Creates some type of growth or expansion within our soul's journey. Okay, so let's see. Long distance. There could be distance between you and this person. Could be physical, could be mental, could be, you know, emotional. Um, I gave it, oh shit, I gave into temptation and I have sexual fantasies about you. So I don't know what, what's going on here. Someone may, and I'm so sorry. So someone here in this situation may have given in to temptation. Someone feels sorry. I dive in and out of relationships. So someone here may also be fantasizing about you sexually while doing things with other people. If you guys are not together, don't take that if it's not yours. But uh, it's here. Or you may be. I don't know. All right. So first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how I roll two cards. 
Single card for Pisces. Overall energy, please. Some of you could be in your head, but they're... But, because I just seen the Eight of Swords and the Star card. Some of you guys could be in your head, but you guys know that there's like light at the end of the tunnel or you're feeling inspired again. Um, but there could be, you know, something that you're thinking about over and over. So the King of Pentacles has your overall energy Pisces. You may be focused on your, your home life, your financial life, your stability. Um, King of Pentacles is compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success and financial security and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent, parent and spouse and a good person to work for. So Pisces, you could be in this King of Pentacles energy, this very grounded earthly energy, um, focusing on your finances, your home, your stability, what it is, the things that you hold value to. Let's get one card for Capricorn's overall energy. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed here. All right, one card for Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Overall energy for Capricorn. Deal with the Pisces. King of Cups. Wow, the roles can definitely be reversed here. We do have Earth energy over here, water over here. Um, Capricorn's overall energy, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor and seeing a counselor. So someone here could be, you know, in this very loving, giving, supportive type energy, um, using their intuition, uh, this is someone who holds a lot of deep emotions. However, they don't wear them on their sleeve. They're in complete control of their emotions. Show me Pisces. So the Empress in the reverse showing itself. All right. I'm glad I didn't set my intentions. Um, so let's see. What is Pisces emotions, please? Some of you may be feeling undervalued. Okay. I don't know if it's from this person or from someone else. The page of cups and your emotions so pisces you could be using your intuition as well sensitive open-hearted inexperienced moody messages regarding relationships new emotional experiences romantic encounters social invitations or events and height heightened psychic abilities okay so pisces within your emotions you may be wanting some type of communication or expression of emotion maybe you're wanting to say i'm sorry you do have i'm so sorry over here um, page of cups can also symbolize, you know, a message and apology. Um, again, you could be a little bit in your emotions at this time, but I feel like you're, you're holding your, you're holding your ground very well. If this is you. Okay. Show me Capricorn's emotions. Show me Capricorn's emotions. So the Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. So they could be. <sighs> All right. So <laughs> the Knight of Wands with this, I have sexual fantasies about you. I don't know if that's what this is. This person may be fantasizing about you. The Knight of Wands can be a passionate, passionate action. Okay. Um, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless events that require immediate action. Trust your instincts, stay focused in a passionate relationship. So I don't know if this person's wanting to rush towards you very quickly, very passionately. Maybe they're wanting to express their emotions, uh, letting you know that they have these deep emotions for you. Maybe this is something that has gone unsaid. And then you have, I'm starting to understand our connection. I wish I had treated you better. Uh, you speak to me through music. So this person may most definitely be wanting to rush in. I don't know if someone, I don't know who. Okay, let me just stop. I don't know who may have done something, you know, this doesn't even have to pertain to the Oracle cards, but let's just see what is Pisces next move. This person may also be feeling like, um, if this is Capricorn's energy, 
and not you are Pisces. Somebody here, this Knight of Wands is like somebody may be having these passionate thoughts and emotions for you and maybe realizing that they have feelings for you, like emotional feelings, not like maybe something's not just sexual. Something is also like somebody may be like fantasizing about you, but also realizing that, damn, I have emotions for Pisces or something. You may be in this energy of trying to use your intuition and focus on your, your stability, your finances and whatnot. Okay, show me Pisces next move, please. Page of Swords. So lots of page energy. You could be, you know, focused on your children as well, Pisces. Um, the Page of Swords is, you know, again, communication. It's a messenger. You have two messengers here in your energy. So I don't know if you're waiting on a message, you're wanting to send a message. You could be looking for some type of information, looking over some type of paperwork or documents, um, or just looking things up, studying something. This could even be pertaining to your career. It doesn't have to be to this person. Um, but logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights and information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents carefully. You know, Page of Swords is also known as like the Spire card. I don't like using it like that you know, because not everybody's spying on someone. But this is also, you know, it's a messenger. It's somebody who gets more information. So you may be looking for more information. You may be receiving some type of information. I'm not quite sure. Show me um, Capricorn's next move. Show me Capricorn's next move, please. Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, showing itself. So the King of Swords, yeah. So with the Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, that showed itself. Someone here may be feeling in this place of like emotional loss or regret. Maybe this person wanted to be single, enjoy the fruits of their labors, just do their own thing. And now they're sitting in this place of like this emotional discontentment, like feeling like something's lacking in their life. So be cautious that this person isn't coming towards you out of boredom. And I do see with the King of Cups here, there is love, a lot of deep emotions. This could also be somebody speaking their truth with this King of Swords, like somebody wanting to come in and speak some type of truth, um, make some type of decision, take some type of action. Okay, so the King of Swords is intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. So with this King of Swords, um, I don't know if this person is like, or maybe you even, I don't know, someone here may be speaking, I feel like someone's someone's giving the messages and someone's receiving. Or maybe you're waiting on messages, Pisces, from this person. Or waiting for someone to speak their truth about something. This may have been someone who's emotionally unavailable. Or I don't know why. Or this is something about a decision of truth or some type of passionate action that somebody took. Why are we getting all these court cards? Show me Pisces intentions. I do feel like there is going to be like a lot of communication between the two of you for sure. Or you're waiting on communication. You're giving, you're finding out something. Maybe you receive some information. Okay. Show me Pisces intentions. Show me Capricorn's intentions. Two of Pentacles. So your intentions here, I feel like you could be weighing your options. 
Maybe you're juggling multiple priorities or balancing things out or trying to balance something out in your own life or within your finances, your home, your work life, whatever this is. I feel like you're doing a juggling act. Uh, the Two of Pentacles talks about working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities and balancing the budget. So with this Two of Pentacles as your intention, Pisces, I feel like you want to bring balance to a situation or you're you're trying to bring balance to some situation. You could be like, your intentions. There could be something that you're also like weighing your options. So if this page of swords, if this is like you getting some type of information or looking for information pertaining to a business, your finances, your career, your stability, your home life, your whatever it is that you hold value to, you may be looking for information pertaining to making some type of a fi financial choice or a decision while using your intuition. Okay. Show me Capricorn. What is their intentions? You know, this King of Swords is also, Swords is about thought, Knight or Wands is about action, and Cups is about emotion. So I don't know if somebody here is thinking about taking action to express their emotions, but this is somebody who, I don't know if this is someone who's divorced or separated or a father figure, or I don't know, because both y'all are showing up in masculine energy. I could be speaking to two masculines or just two people who are both showing up as masculine energy. Um, but this King of Swords is like, but this message for you, um, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So with this, I'm thinking, this could be this person. I'm thinking of you this very moment because that's how he looks. He looks like he's thinking about something. And with this cups, with this king of cups and this knight of wands, it's like someone is definitely, someone may even be fantasizing about your Pisces, but they're also like thinking about, you know, their emotions or how they feel, or they could be like feeling, um, not triggered, but like, Feeling the urge to come in and express something. All right, show me Capricorn's intentions, please. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The Ace of Cups shown itself. This person, I feel like they are thinking about like the Six of Coins coming and being generous, giving to the situation. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely, paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others who are less fortunate. So this person's intentions, they maybe want to ge be generous with you. They may want to give to you. This person may even be coming in wanting to gift you something or, um, you know, if this person owes you anything, they may be coming in to pay you some type of money. I want to share my good news with you. Maybe somebody wants, you know, maybe somebody's receiving some money or waiting on some money. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what the outcome is between you two. Between Pisces and Capricorn for the end of April, what is the outcome spirit? Single cards only, please. If there was a third party, somebody's holding back from them. Okay. So whether that's on your part or the other person's part, I don't know. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Capricorn. Single jumping cards will do five. There goes that eight of swords that was seen in the beginning. Three more and then we'll talk about it. cups you got the king and queen of cups showing up you also have the king of wands so you got the king of wands king of cups king of swords king of pentacles you got all four kings out here in this reading pisces a lot of alpha energy okay um a little bit of feminine energy i guess um but there is some type of soulmate energy here um 
The King of Wands in the reverse, this could be somebody who's lacking confidence or lacking courage. This can also, you know, King of Wands in the reverse, I, I don't really, this is um, someone who could be promiscuous or, I don't know. In this general reading, I'm reading this as somebody who I feel like there could be some type of delays when it comes to taking action because the Eight of Swords, somebody's in their head, like somebody's in their thoughts. And Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, like somebody here is losing sleep. Someone may have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Moon sign as well. But I feel like someone here is like lacking the courage. And this is just for the next 10 days. And they're very stressed out, up in their head, worried, having anxiety, fear, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation, sleepless nights, and refocus your thoughts. Then the illusion, Eight of Swords, the illusion of entrapment, the lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, and that's what this is, the lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, King of Wands in the reverse, take responsibility for your life now. So within the next 10 days, I feel like someone has a lot of fear, anxiety, worries. If there is some type of truth here that's like, or secrets or something, Someone may be fearing, like, that's why they are insecure. And and the King of Wands is someone who's promiscuous. So I don't know if somebody here was sleeping around or was in this sexual energy, this temptation-like energy. I gave into temptation. We have that out here. And this is the King of Wands in the reverse. The King of Wands will give into temptation because, you know, they can't control their desires or their urges. Um, or somebody who's arrogant, you know, thinks their shit don't stink or thinks that, you know, they're so good looking and so they can do anything that they want you know this is the king of wands in the reverse but somebody here i feel like is definitely wanting some type of a brand new beginning ace of wands ace of pentacles a passionate new beginning a financial new beginning where there's stability growth um an amazing new opportunity be bold and courageous and optimistic now is the time to take action do what you're passionate about um and then a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. So I don't know if someone's stressed out and worried about some type of a new opportunity. This could be a new job or something. Um, that could be what's stressing someone out and causing them to feel like this lack of confidence. Maybe somebody's waiting, you know, or somebody may be feeling like insecure Let me clarify these real quick. So we'll throw one clarifier on these. Thank you guys for your patience and waiting for your guys' reading. I know I got it out a little late, but I got it out. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Why is the King of Wands in the reverse here? I just seen the Eight of Swords again. And now I see the Hermit, so Virgo energy. This is like somebody may be isolating themselves or very much so in their thoughts. But like feeling passionately driven towards like, like their emotions, like somebody's like feeling passionately driven to like somebody's, I'm getting like the man holding a heart type energy. Like I almost want to read that card to you guys um, because that's the energy I'm feeling from this, whoever this Capricorn, oh my gosh. And it's like right there. How convenient that never happens for me. So number 45. Um, this is the energy I'm getting from this, whoever this person is. This could be a female or male, but it's just someone in a more masculine energy. Male dealing with family, love, or emotions. This tender man sits with flowers all around him, holding a heart in his hand. For the man, this signals greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. And that's what the King of Swords is. It's like somebody who's getting clear in thought um, and feeling like passionately driven emotionally towards this like compassionate energy, like feeling compelled. Let me just keep going. There could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if those have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life or one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings high intention to help where personal projects, family or home issues are concerned. So this is somebody who I feel like is tapping into um, their emotions. Like they're starting to feel their emotions. Um, there's another card and I may not be that. The man is also a woman who perhaps may have a friend be able to look at.
Okay, maybe it was the man holding the heart. Okay, anyways, sorry, but that's that's what I'm getting from this person. Like, this may be something that... I don't know if this person's just, like, tapping into these feelings or just, like, kind of realizing, like, damn, I got, I got these urges and these feelings that I, you know... And they're in their thoughts. Like, whoever this is, they're sh they're heavily in their thoughts. I feel like you guys are on each other's mind, to be quite honest. But um, I could be wrong. Um, let's see. Why is this King of Wands here? Spirit in the reverse. Why is this King of Wands here in the reverse? The devil. Damn. Daniel, show me the, the Eight of uh, Swords. That tripped me up. It's Capricorn. So this King of Wands in the reverse is Capricorn energy. Okay, so this person may be, you know, lacking. This person may even have, like, insecurities, but they may not show them. And you may not know that for whatever reason. And it could be something that they... This could be some type of toxic behavior. So if this person was in this King of Wands in the reverse with the devil next to it, that's like... I'm sorry, y'all, but that's this energy of, like, somebody who can't control their fucking devilish ways. They're toxicities their sexual urges their desires like um and that's what i feel like someone stressed the hell out about is because they may be worried about like this emperor like can i can i be this person can i be this emperor can i like am i capable of taking charge of a situation and being authoritative and committal and and honest and truthful and being this am i like capable because I feel like you raised the bar to somebody. You may even be younger than this person with these pages here. Or there could be children involved for some. But either way, I feel like someone's like in their head. Like, can I be this? Can I do this? Nine of Swords. Why is this here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's stressed out about making some type of an offer. Show me the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Cups. So... And the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's like, can this be real? Am I seeing things clearly? Um, like someone's confused about this opportunity. Or someone has a lot of other options. But they want to take action towards something more stable. Because this could be like a lot of passionate options, a lot of things that you're passionate about, like causing confusion. And But they want to take action towards something that's more stable, this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of fucking Pentacles. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles down here. And right here, both of them. And then it's like, but there's confusion surrounding this. Why? I feel like because somebody may have some type of like toxic ways. Or somebody may have some addic addictions. This could be to porn, sex, drugs, money, alcohol. But this to me looks more like an intimate thing. All right, Pisces. But somebody may be catching feelings. The player caught feelings. <laughs> okay. This could be someone who's also in and out emotionally with this Knight of Wands and their emotions. This could be someone who's in and out emotionally. But this person does have a lot of deep love for you. And they may be thinking about like taking some type of action or making a decision here, a head over heart decision, or like trying to come to some type of conclusion within their mental. But I feel like this is someone who may have some type of addictions or unhealthy habits. Okay. This is somebody who does have love for you. Okay. Anyways, I keep saying the same thing. So this person may have a lot of other opportunities or a lot of other options and they're stressed out like up in their head like about taking action or sending that message or like Pisces I feel like you're trying to find out information that will help you using your intuition I feel like you're balancing you know many things in your life home work career whatever it is you're in this King of Pentacles energy, financially stable, committed, loyal. You want something that is committed and loyal. But this person here, within the next 10 days, I don't know. I mean, the devil's still showing up in the upright. That is Capricorn's energy with the King of Wands reversed. This person may lack confidence. And so maybe they use 
lust or desire their addictions to make them feel some type of way. I don't know. I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, actually, I'm going to pull you guys a few oracles, like I said, to close this out. What else do you want to tell Pisces dealing with the Capricorn? So, yeah, I do feel like this person is thinking about you, but this person may need to, like, this person may be, like, realizing, like, that they have feelings for you. Like, I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I wish I had treated you better. Like, somebody wishes that they treated you better, but they have some effed up ways. I'm sorry. Okay? Healing heart. Um, healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, so somebody here may be... I don't know if this is you healing your heart or this person wanting to heal your heart or this person trying to heal their own heart and break free or what. But the mirror, mirroring each other, self-image relationships, reflect our wounds and introspection. Yeah, so you, I don't know if you like brought something out of this person that made them see what they were doing or what they are doing or because there is a spiritual lesson here at hand. So it's like your own wounds or this person's own wounds may have, like, you guys may have mirrored each other in some way to help aid each other. I don't know if this is actually something that could come together. Maybe it will, because we just got the clock. And uh, need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal and progress and heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart and getting together and perfect. So I don't know, Pisces, maybe in time, something here can be healed. Something here can be, you know, because I do see someone's like tapping into like their emotions or something. Like they're realizing like, that they may have some issues and they are finding their emotions, but they're in and out emotionally. They're not really available. King of Swords emotionally, but they have these emotions. Good Lord. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you a little bit of clarity on who you're dealing with um, as to well as your own situation. If it did, be sure to hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.